Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and I just got done seeing The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, which uh, some people want to say smog, and I would think it would be pronounced that way too, but it is Smaug. <laughs> um, you know, the first film, you know, it took some criticism for being slow, having too much in it, being bloated, and blah, 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 uh, but I really liked the first film a lot. I enjoyed it. And just really, really loved it. So I had high expectations for this one. And I gotta say, guys, you know, this film is probably my favorite out of the entire Lord of the Rings saga. I was just thoroughly impressed with this film. Um, it just, you know, I think Peter Jackson really hit his stride with this film. It really just everything works a lot better in this. Uh, there's more action, it's better paced, um, and I think some of the problems that people had with that first film, with her being, you know, slow or feeling too long, uh, I think that that's, you know, gonna be fixed for, for most people in this one. Um, you know, just, it was just so great. I mean, so many great moments in it. Uh, the whole uh, barrel on the rapids was just amazing uh, when they're all riding in the barrels. The part with the spiders when they're in Mirkwood was awesome. And, of course, Smaug, the whole scene with him was just absolutely incredible. And uh, uh, I can't think of the guy's first name, but Cumberbatch, the guy that did his voice, just did it excellent. I mean, he's just very menacing and, and dark and... Um, you know, just it, everything was just awesome about this film, guys. I, I was just so thoroughly impressed and just loved every single second of it. Uh, I did see it in IMAX 3D, and the 3D was fantastic. I mean, you know, I think that that higher frame rate where, you know, they shot this at 48 frames per second, um, it paid off because, you know, not only was the picture just crystal clear like a Blu-ray, but there was also not one moment of ghosting or you know, a blurred image like you will see sometimes in 3D films, not at all, like none in this. Um, it just, you know, really immersive, deep 3D. And, uh, you know, some people may have a problem with things that were added into this film. You know, I've always, I love the Hobbit book. I've read it twice, you know, but I'm not like a humongous, you know, Lord of the Rings mark. And, um... You know, I mean, I love them all, but, it, you know, it's it doesn't bother me that Peter Jackson added stuff to this, like uh, Legolas is in this, and he also has, there's also this girl character, which is totally one of Peter Jackson's creations, uh, Tariel, I think was her name, and there's kind of like a love triangle with Legolas, her, and Keeley, one of the dwarves. And, you know, that's all completely uh, Peter Jackson's creation. None of that was in the original book. And, you know, like I said, some people may have a problem with that stuff, but it all worked for me. I didn't mind any of it at all. Um, and, you know, one of my favorite scenes of this film, without spoiling anything, is the reveal of Smaug. I mean, the way they did it. It's I, I just thought it was fantastic because... You know, they take their time to show them. You know, they don't just, bam, show them. It's a slow reveal. And um, even when they do show him all for the first time, you don't see him clearly. I'll just leave it at that. It takes a while even before you see him clearly, you know, after they've showed all of them. It's just really, really awesome. Guys, just such an excellent film. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty positive that this is going to be my favorite film from this year. Um, <clears throat> it just, you know, it's two hours and 40 minutes, and it just flew by. It didn't feel that long at all. I was just totally immersed in Middle Earth for that entire running time, and I really hope to get out to see this again in theaters while it's out. Um, you know, this, and, and, you know, as much as I like these Lord of the Rings movies, it's crazy. This is the very first one I've ever got to see in a theater. Um, so it was just an awesome experience. Had a really, really good time. Guys, I'm going to give The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, a 10 out of 10. I give it the highest recommendation. Um, it's just a fun, great film that is going to entertain the hell out of you. Uh, definitely get out and see this in a the theater. I mean, you know, if you can't get out to an IMAX, at least go see it. 
it, it's definitely one of those theater experience type movies that it just it's made to be seen on the big screen. All the effects, all the CGI, everything is just top notch. Everything looks so great in this. Um, you know, I, I just it, it's just amazing how Peter Jackson has created this world that is just. It seems real. It seems like a real place. Nothing looks fake or out of place. It just all seems very real. And, um, you know, I can't wait for the third film next December to see what they do with that because the way they ended this one, uh, they leave it hang. They leave you hanging and, and, and leave you begging for more, as it should be. So, yeah, guys, that's my quick review for The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. Check it out, guys, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.